Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. I hope you all have heard about one way shear. One way shear is one of the major critical element in footing. So today in this video, let's discuss in detail about what is one way shear, how it occurs in footing and how do we resist the one way shear in footing. Footing is mainly subjected to bending moment, one way shear and two way shear. The critical section for bending moment is at the face of the column, the critical section for one way shear is at a distance d from the face of the column. The critical section for two way shear is at a distance d by 2 from the face of the column. Now, let's discuss how one way shear failure occurs in footing and why we are considering the critical section is at a distance d from the face of the column. So, one way shear failure occurs as an inclined cracks across the full width of the footing that intersect the bottom slab of the footing. Let me show you in the drawing. So you can see here the inclined crack developed like this when the column load is applied on the footing slab. So that intersect the bottom slab of the footing and also so you can see that um, failure occurs across the full width of the footing. So one way shear failure occurs for this full width of the footing. So the critical section is at a distance d from the face of the column. Let me explain why we are considering this one. When the load is applied on the footing, it get dispersed inclined like this and this, this angle is 45 degree and here this angle is also 45 degree. So obviously this angle also 45 degree. It looks like a isosceles triangle. So if this distance is D, then obviously this distance from here to here, the horizontal distance is also D since it is a isosceles triangle. So that is the reason we are considering the critical section at a distance D from the face of the column. So you can see here in the plan. So at a distance D from the face of the column. So this is the critical section for one way shear. So we have to find out the shear force for this section. The condition here is the shear stress at the critical section of footing should be less than the shear strength of the concrete. So when we calculate the shear stress and the shear strength, the shear stress always should be less than the shear strength of the concrete. So this is the condition for one way shear. So let's take one practical example and then do the calculation. Let's start the calculation now. Load is 1800 kN per meter squared. SBC is 300 kilonewton per meter squared. Column size is 450 by 450 mm. Grade of concrete is M25 and grade of steel is Fe415. So the first step we have to find out the area of the footing. So here we are considering 10% of the backfill load. So area of footing is equal to load divided by SBC which gives the area. So from that we need to find out the size of the footing. So we are... Uh, having the size of the footing as 2.57 by 2.57 meter. So that is shown in the plan. So this is the size of the footing. In the next step, let's calculate the net soil pressure at ultimate load. QU is the net soil pressure at ultimate load. So, which is load divided by area. So, one we are multiplying the load with the factor of safety 1.5. So, we got the QU value as 408.78 kilonewton per meter squared. So, next we have to assume the depth. So, here we are assuming the depth as 750 mm and 16 mm dia bar. So, effective depth we are getting as 750 minus 75 is the clear cover and 16 by 2. So we got the effective depth as 667 mm. So in the plan of the footing, all the sizes have shown. 
So the critical section for one way shear is at the distance d from the face of the column. So this d is the effective depth, so which we get as 667 mm. In the next step, let's calculate the shear force. Vu is the factored shear force. Since we had calculated already the net soil pressure at ultimate load. So this is the formula for finding the shear force. Vu is equal to QU multiplied by B multiplied by 1060 minus D. This I will explain you in the drawing. So we are calculating the shear force for this area. So here QU is the net soil pressure at ultimate load. 2570 is the width of the footing because we are calculating the shear force for this area okay so this is the width of the footing and then uh, 1060 is the distance from the face of the column so we are directing the effective depth from 1060 so so we are calculating the shear force for this area okay so we are finally we get vu as 4112.08 multiplied by 10 power 3 newton Next, let's calculate the nom nominal shear stress that is Vu by BD. We know Vu value and uh, breadth of the footing and uh, effective depth. So, from that we can calculate the nominal, nominal shear stress tau B. So, tau B is equal to Vu by BD. So, from this we can calculate. So, we are getting 0 0.240 Newton per mm square in the next step we are going to find out the bending moment because we have to find out the design shear strength of concrete to compare with the nominal shear stress which we had calculated before so we have to find out the bending moment from that we can find out the percentage of steel and then with the with the use of percentage of steel we can find out the design shear strength of concrete so let's calculate the bending moment. So bending moment MU is equal to QU multiplied by B multiplied by 1060 square divided by 2. So we are getting MU value as 589.08 into 10 power 6 Newton mm. So from this we can find out the MU by BD square value. So here B is the width of the footing, D is the effective depth. So we got 0.515 from uh, sp16 table 3 we can find out the pt value by using this mu by bd square value so from that we can uh, get the pt as 0.146 the critical section for bending moment is at the face of the column so according to that we had calculated the bending moment and then pt value so now we know the PT value. Next, next step we have to find out the design shear strength of concrete. So by using table 19 from IS 456 2000, we can find out the design shear strength of concrete. So let me show you in this table from IS 456 2000. So we have the PT value as 0.146. So let's consider as 0.15. So we have the concrete grade M25. Grade of concrete as M25. So for that if we see the value which is 0.29. Okay. So this is the design shear strength of concrete for the percentage of steel we got. Let's compare the nominal shear stress and the design shear strength of concrete. So tau C is the design shear strength of concrete which is 0.29 Newton per mm square from IS456 and tau V is the nominal shear stress which we had calculated which is 0.240 Newton per mm square. So hence our nominal shear uh, stress is less than the design shear strength of concrete. So whatever the depth we had assumed is okay which satisfies the one way shear. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.